I have researched the Hebrew Bible, the New Testament, Hinduism, and Zoroastrian religions, and could not find as many verses that incite their followers to fight and kill as those that fill the Quran and Hadith. Can you explain this? In the English language, fight can mean to combat, struggle, resist, strife, war, do battle. In the Arabic language, one word, qatl, with its derivatives can mean all of the following. Fight, qital, kifah, Iraq, harb, kill, qatl, dhabah, jazr, murder, qatl, slaughter, dhabah, jazr, qatl, slay, qatl, kill, murder, fight, combat, slay, put to death, slaughter, etc. Invariably, the interpreters of the Quran use the more sanitized terms to convey a more moderate connotation so as to deceive the readers. This word, qital, qatl, qatala, yaqtulu, yuqatilu, is usually used against all those who do not believe in Allah and in Muhammad as his messenger. This word and its derivatives are repeated in the Quran and a hadith at least 35,213 times. So much for Muhammad's version of peaceful Islam. Muhammad allegedly received the first among many verses, allowing and sanctioning him to fight against all non-believers, those who do not believe in Allah and his apostle, almost 80% of humanity, in the following. al Tauba 9.5 But when the forbidden months are past, then fight and slay. Faqtulu the pagans wherever you find them and seize them, beleaguer them and lie in wait for them in every stratagem of war. Al-Baqarah 2.191 And slay them, waqtuluhum, wherever you catch them and turn them out of where they have turned you out. For tumult and oppression are worse than slaughter, al-qatl. But fight them not, taqtuluhum, at the sacred mosque, unless they fight you, yuqatilukum, there. But if they fight you, qatalukum, slay them, faqtuluhum, such is the reward of those who suppress faith. Al-Ma'idah 5.28 If thou dost stretch thy hand against me to slay me, litaqtulani, it is not for me to stretch my hand against thee to slay thee, liaqtulaka. The selfish soul of the other led him to the murder, qatala, of his brother. He murdered him, qatalahu, and became himself one of the lost ones. The punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his apostle and strive with might for mischief throughout the land is execution, yuqattalu, or crucifixion, yuslabu, of the cutting off of hands and feet from opposite sides or exile from the land. Muhammadan Islam, the religion of peace, uses the word fight and its derivatives 11 times in only these four verses, as an example of thousands more in both the Quran and Hadith. The Quran is full of warmongering, hate-mongering, satanic and racist verses that could not have possibly emanated from any omniscient, compassionate and merciful divinity. This 1400 years old unilateral declaration of total war against all those who do not believe in Allah and in Muhammad and his messenger to force into conversion, to subjugate or to annihilate them continues unabated by the followers of Muhammad up to the present moment and the foreseeable future. All the denials by the followers of Muhammad that Muhammadan Islam is a religion of peace run against logic, facts, veracity and morality. Since we see on television their heinous actions of mass murder, of slaughter, of hijackings, of kidnapping, of butchering, of wanton destruction of holy places all over the world invariably against defenseless civilians, both against unbelievers as well as other believers of a different sect or thought. Fortunately, humanity is slowly waking up to these realities and the facts about the true nature of Muhammad and Islam as sanctioned by his Quran.